Okay, I've installed prepared version 2 and I'm going to make a video just to show off some of the things, the good points I think about it and to show that it's a very capable uh, engine. Um, I prefer it now to FSX um, even with DX10 uh, scenery fixer by Steve and uh, so I'll just uh, show you this. I'll put my machine specs at the end of the movie. Um, just to show you, at the moment I'm running uh, um, quite heavy scenery. Let's just go outside. This, by the way, is easy dock. Just to show that outside aircraft views do work if you set up your config file. Um, I'm getting at the moment with uh, fraps running I'm getting around 30 frames per second with a very heavy cloud deck user created theme 7 8 cumulus cloud and uh, the Cirrus SR22 by Carinado which in FSX was a fairly frame rate heavy plane Fraps is costing me about 10 frames per second. If I turn Fraps off, which I can't show you, obviously, I go up to about 40 frames per second. I'm running a very heavy mesh um, that I've made myself. This is for the Western Cape area. Um, I, it's not a SRTM mesh. It's made from accurate uh, survey topography data and uh, it's a two meter resolution mesh um, so that's pushing the system I'm sure um, I created this mesh because in the default FSX certainly and even with some of the SRTM add-ons you can get the freeware add-ons um, it just doesn't show the topographical features of uh, the Western Cape up properly um, and then the land class is also my unuser created land class. Um, I was involved in land class mapping in this country for a while. And uh, I've got hold of some of the rather old vector data from around 2000, 2002. And so it's fairly accurate land class. And I'm using FTX global textures on that and it works fine with this. The airport we're at at the moment is Stellenbosch Airfield, which also isn't in the standard FSX. It's an air airfield I've built up, but it's a nice airfield to fly from. And what I'm going to show you is some of the the uh, the um, West, West Cape scenery that, that I've created. It's pretty heavy scenery and show you the prepared version 2 handles it fine. I'm going to turn off the frame rate counter. I'll turn it on and now and then for those of you who are frame rate watchers. I find it perfectly smooth at 30 frames per second. I'm happy. And obviously without fraps I'm getting 40. Okay, I'll uh, get going and see you for the takeoff. Right, at runway 19, taking off to the south. There's a good southeaster blowing, or southwester, sorry. So um, we've got a nine knot crosswind and a low cloud deck. This is typical of the black southeaster, black southwester one gets in Cape Town. Um, so we're expecting a bit of light turbulence and getting a bit heavier in the cloud deck. Right, let's go. First thing is the lack of autogen popping. Beautiful at low level. I've got a lot radius of 5.5 set. And uh, you 
if this is FSX there's popping all over already so that's much better <coughs> alright we turn towards the false bay coast and we'll head out straight over Cape Town International try and get some altitude there so we don't interfere get hit sideways by any traffic I'm not using ATC so that's about the heading we want let's get the flaps up go over to autopilot because obviously I'll be talking to you guys I'm at about a thousand feet get this heading on to unlock that going to be in the cloud deck we need to fly IR sorry fly with instrument rating just sorry my head headings a bit wrong there take me over the approach path planes will be coming in from the north but I'll be higher than them by the time I get there a bit more towards Cape Town okay you'll notice I'm um, sticking with my panning that's uh, not prepared I've got a problem with my uh, uh, joystick button sticking there we go scenery is very she's very very smooth not getting stutters if you look carefully you will you may see some um, texture loading uh, or adjusting to the detailed elevation but basically the autogen creeps in I've got uh, vegetation on dents and buildings on normal I find it's enough buildings with uh, FTX global right we're about to go into the cloud base Cape Town city up ahead just to show you she can handle these clouds people complaining about rotating clouds this is a cumulus deck I don't get that effect um, unless I use stratus stratus are flat clouds they're not great even in FSX they swing around a bit but uh, that's to do with the old sprite clouds that are still FS9 in age some adjustments there will come I'm sure Cumulus cloud, no problem. Clouds, nice and thick, volumetric. A lot of those cardboard things. And uh, the ground slowly but surely gets obscured. I've got seven eights, so we'll get gaps. It's Cape Town Airport down there. Right panning is smooth, but left panning. My hat switch is a problem. Get that mixture adjusted.
right, now we're in the thick of this cloud deck. Getting pretty obscured. If I make it 8 to 8 with the cloud density, I've got set max. Um, it's 100% invisible. The ground is 100% invisible. Smooth, smooth. Absolutely loving this. Right. We are at 6,000 feet going over the approach path into Cape Town International. This distance aircraft should be at about 3,000 feet. I'm also running about 50% AI with the uh, world of AIs um, self-installed. I've installed them myself, have them in FSX. Textures are fine and the frame rate impact is not huge. And uh, I found that in prepared I can run about 10% um, road traffic cars, ships, ferries, etc. with no frame rate hit. Whereas in FSX I had to tone that down to about 5% or less sometimes. Mostly I'm using prepared for GA flying and learning and beefing up my GA flying. I'm not uh, into heavy jets yet and, and they're no real jets that are working well except for maybe the Avro by quality wings um, that seems to be okay people aren't complaining much okay we're going to come up to leveling off at the cloud top to show you once we get to the cloud top what the visibility looks like then we'll dive down take a turn over Robben Island come in low and I'll show you some of the water effects and the scenery um, detail that I've got loaded in here and you'll see it's handling that fine it's our frame rate per second now hovering between 20 to 37 so roughly averaging around about 35 and prepared is very smooth at that yeah, we go up to the tops. People not wanting to fly prepared because of cloud rotation. I, I just can't understand it. It's it's really not a global problem, and it has to do with some legacy sp cloud sprites. And I'm sure that'll all get sorted out. That's not a prepared engine problem. There's still a lot of stuff to be done, and a what I like about Lockheed's approach to this now is they work on the engine and developers will work on these other things and we'll end up with a, a great simulator in the end let's go to the outside view ice cloud textures Beautiful clouds, these are um, AS2012 clouds, I did have Rex in here but I find AS2012 is fine. Alright, time to take a dive down to, let's go down to 1000 feet. down at about 1,500 per minute watch for overspeed you 
somewhere over Robben Island at the moment. take quite a wide turn, get through this cloud, go down a bit faster. forward a bit so that it's still clear in the video what's going on here. These uh, G1000 screens are pretty heavy on frame rates. Often in FSX you have to turn that one off to get some frames. Start my turn. Good for AFR training. You can get so easily disorientated in thick cloud like this. I had a good friend die diving out vertically out of cloud. He wasn't instrument rated, got into cloud, and that was the end of it. Broken cloud base, uh, cloud reflections. I'm using a AS12 watercolor. Is Robin Island ahead of us? The famous Robin Island prison. Zoom in. Over here, and the Robin Island airstrip. Unfortunately, with the Robin Island vol right in the middle of one of the runways, I have to move that off in my scenery a bit. Okay. In the scenery I've made, I've designed all the islands accurately with their detailed coastlines. We'll see the rocky coastline, all the little embayments here around Robben Island. Very accurate as per satellite imagery. A oh, bit of turbulence there. Where's our airspeed to go up? Right, make a turn towards Table Mountain. Go right south. And a bit of power up. Flying over Robben Island Prison. towards Table Mountain which is got its table top on as we get closer we might see some of that lift a bit I said one of the reasons I made this scenery was I couldn't stand the the false look of such a beautiful area
will be some uh, terrain popping as it brings in I've got two meshes, a less detailed and then the very detailed one but the tessellation is helping a lot compared to FSX where this really pops notice some of the buildings in Cape Town shimmering that's it's again my modeling I've got to uh, I had to move those buildings they were in the sea and uh, in so doing I've got a problem with some of the materials on them that are shimmering like that fly out down the Atlantic coast very classic view of the real Table Mountain Cliff Neck between Table Mountain and Lion's Head. The Cape Waterfront area, I've still got to make some buildings for that. come in over the Atlantic coast let's get down a bit more again we're coming in over Camps Bay reflection of the terrain as we head past Landadno
Sandy Bay, which is the naturalist or nudist beach. Haven't put any static objects in there. Take a turn around the point here. Oh, man. To show you, I've got very detailed close coastline here. Incredibly detailed coastline vector um, line, and FSX handles that fine, and so does prepared. All the little bays and gullies, shipwreck, I think that's been dismantled now. Coastal boulders and rocks, still working on that, get that technique right a bit. The Sentinel, called the Sentinel, which in default scenery is cut off because SRTM shuttle radar topography the radar got squashed there no return so you get you don't see it if it's radar to mesh islands chapman's peak drive up ahead built by italian prisoners of war during the second world war renovated but having big problems with rock falls and I think it's been closed again. Bit of terrain adjustment there. You'll see I've cut my roadways into the scenery, nothing worse than just roads stuck on the side of, of mesh. So I've developed a GIS technique for slicing those into the to the uh, mesh. Coming around into Hart Bay, Hart Bay a little fishing harbour, recreational harbour, very smooth. Sometimes I get a little bit of stutter around the turn. And here we go into Hot Bay Valley, we'll dodge up over Constantia Neck. The Cirrus starts to get a bit heavy in one wing with the tanks. I switch these tanks. Constantia neck. If I can get this, there we go. Don't know what I'm going to do. My side tech joystick hit, hit switch gone. So the back of Table Mountain, a reserve area, botanical reserve, very rare plants, not found anywhere else in the world. Sneak over this. to the Constantia area and then we'll turn down towards Musenberg so even though we came over a ridge the autogen was already there for us again up 
ahead the Musenberg area with uh, the lakes, Musenberg Lake. Should be guys out dinghy sailing in this wind. Road traffic at 10% driving on the left hand side. Let's just page up a bit and zoom in a bit. You can see them. South Africa, we drive on the left. This is the Blue Route Freeway. Polsmore prison area. Just use a stick to go back. Nice sailing dinghies. Changing water color from inland water to ocean water color. I made. I, I think I made this ocean water a little bit light because the clouds do tend to darken it up guys out sailing all right so this is the Musenberg area you can see again the roads cut in so all of that detailed terrain the railway line that, that runs along the coast all being handled very well by prepared mesh detailed mesh. I've got my mesh set at one meter so that and ultra water so that I can get the wave heights get the wave animations just to come around the corner here to show you that um, in the distance there this very white is a, a concrete and sand texture that's got a high reflectivity and some of the buildings also autogen buildings have so at certain angles they their white boxes that's all got to be fixed up as your view direction changes on these things they don't they're not so reflective and they dull out this is the Simonstown naval base and a bit of sandy area there or I think there's a big quarry there going around past Cog Bay Cog Bay Lighthouse railway line going past just next to the road squeezing those in onto the scenery took some doing again got nice reflections okay so that's my video just to show you the quite capable prepared version 2 extremely happy with it um, just love the lack of autogen popping and um, the water I think is enhanced especially if you get down there in a boat and up the winds it's quite amazing see the wave directions change with the wind and the height of waves change cloud reflections and that I just haven't got uh, building and other reflections on my system can take it I'm sure just I was running a 580 GTX card and I found that struggled a bit wasn't bad coming really close to the terrain there one thing my flight instructor would not enjoy at all okay thank you for watching and those of you unprepared version 2 chat to you in the forums